Yep, put it in and go. Medieval torture. The history of medieval torture. It's very dark in here. Very dark in here. I don't think that's this kind. I think that's a different wheel you're thinking of. Yeah, and the, yeah, never Sabriella said she had to come here because she saw Omar do a video here. And she's like, we have to go there. So here we are doing a video here. So this was called, what's this called, Brie? Hmm? What was this called? Blazing. No, I think it's called the guillotine. Oh, yeah. Right. And it did that to people. See? See, Brie? They did that to people. Are you getting scared? Are you getting scared? You know what's crazy is uh, none of this is made up stuff. This isn't just stuff to scare people. This is how we really did it. Wow, that would be terrible. Yeah, no thank you. You want to hear a fun fact about the Iron Bull? Yes, I know about it actually. The person who invented this died from being put in it. You knew that? This device was built on the orders of the Sicilian Tiber Polaris in the oh. second half of the 6th century BC. Later, the spectacular death penalty became popular in ancient Rome, Western and Eastern Europe, and Middle Ages. Go ahead. Cool. Don't drop it hard, though. That's what they do. They put fire under it, throw people in there, and then uh, the, when they're cooking them in there, there's holes up here and in the mouth and the smoke and steam would come out and as they're screaming you'd hear Rrr! so it sounded like it oh yeah there's the history of that pause it if you guys want to read it wow look at these things that's what these are yeah so it's a shame mash shame mask yes, you would if you were caught Gossiping, eavesdropping, gluttony, or drunkenness in public. It was invented in the 16th century England and enjoyed great popularity in Europe for about 200 years. Wow. So they put this mask on you. To humiliate you. Yep. Wow, can you imagine if people had to wear that for drinking in public? <laughs> like all of us would have one on. Stretch table. Well, I saw the stretch table. I wanted to show it. I was really excited about it. What's this one? Here, they're burning out his eyes. This is a cruel torture. It was used by wild tribes of the Dark Ages, and it was inherited by the military concentration camps of the 20th century. They'd burn out their eyes? Oh, wow. Look, the eyeballs are down there. You. Says what? Cool. Well, let's go pull it. I just did. Did you read it? it no. It it's hand torture. I don't read. So these tools were used to um, torture people. To mutilate the suspect's hand to draw necessary information and confession. Yeah, I've seen these. Yeah. You put your hand in there and they, they cramp Pressure. and close, yeah. Mm -hmm. It says pull, so we're allowed to if it says pull. Oh. 
the guillotine. From the guillotine, yeah. Some legs in there too. That's neat. Yeah, that's what they do. Stat rip off their fingernails, put toothpicks into their fingernails, break their bones, nails. That's crazy. A lot of that was just for stealing or made up. Mm hmm. Hey, we were in one of those the other day. Look at that. Oh, oh my god, that thing's huge. Look at that. I don't know what that's for. Some big it's dude. Torture it's a torture shoe. Shoe torture was used in China until about 1,000 years ago, but the most wide use was the Middle Ages in Europe. The Spanish boot. It was used for torture in the late Middle Ages in Europe. The greatest popularity was among the French, British, and prisoners. Huh. Look at this hammer. Mm -hmm. This thing's huge. Is that what it is, a hammer? Yeah, I think they'd use like smash heads or something. The Spanish boot, the foot press that told you all about the boot. Wow, that thing is huge. Torturing shoes. My torturing mm -hmm. shoes. Look at the sword of this guy. Like the main guy for chopping off heads. Look at that. Oh, that's a sword thing. Yeah, that thing's it's huge. It's so big. It's for a size compared to the sword. Look at the handle. That's the handle of this thing. And then my tiny hand comes along. His yeah. eyes look real. It's the blade's huge. Hear me? Huh? His eyes look real. It's creepy. His eyes look real, she said. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah, those eyes look pretty real. This is a scary little room. Call that the bone wall. The barrel. The, the skull wall. I ain't read nothing. This so, is the barrel. This was the drunkard's cloak. So if drunkness was first made a civil offense in England by the Ale Houses Act in 1551, and the drunkard's cloak became a common method of punishing recidivists especially during the Commonwealth of England. A drunkard's cloak was a type of pillory used for various jurisdictions to punish miscreants. It was actually a barrel in the top of which a hole was made for the head to pass through. So being placed in a barrel with cold water in Eastern Europe and in Russia was a preventative and a usually public punishment for alcoholics wow. and brawlers. I think we saw something like that at the jail cell. Pictures of something like that. Yeah. We saw something like that. Oh, look, Sabrell goes in one. She was out drinking last night. No, you gotta stay there for a week or two, they said. Oh, we gotta get Catherine in there. You know, bars so, were forbidden to serve them because this was. All right, so if you couldn't drink and you were caught a lot, they'd put that around your neck and lock it in this heavy ass weight. 17 pounds. 17 pounds. You'd have to carry it around, and that way uh, bars knew not to serve you. That's crazy. And it's for alcoholics. All right, Catherine, get in. I saw you having a couple of beers at Austin's party. Hey, you fit your arms out? <laughs> it's too cute. We can't keep you in there. You can get out. She can have a beer. <laughs> Which is way a method of proof of guilt was coined by court officials in Ockerton City, Holland in the late 15th century. The suspect, usually a woman, clothed in a white shirt and put on a special scale. If her weight was less than 99 pounds, the unhappy woman would have been found guilty of witchcraft. Wow. So technically, you would have been if found I guilty. If I was on this and wearing white, and they weighed me, they would consider me witchcraft, and I would have been found guilty. He could have been burnt, and he could have been burnt at the stake. Yes. So this was the trial right here. A lady who was a suspected of witchcraft would be thrown on there, and if her weight was under, what, 90? 99, 99 pounds. pounds. You're a you witch. You would have went to the stake and got yes. burnt. Wow. Hillary. That's crazy. Yeah, we got pictures in that. No, don't touch that. It doesn't say, doesn't say you can touch that. Yeah, don't touch that. All right. 
question. Now, here's a little gossiper's by the way. So this was for somebody who talked too much. Somebody who talked too much? Yes. They're apparently swearing this if they um, accused of slander or spreading gossip. Wow. And then the view of shame, the device someone designed to the gossip violin was used in the Middle Ages for punishing musicians for playing badly. So special holes for clamping fingers make the instrument similar to the flute. For playing badly. Breast pulper? Yeah. So in Western Europe of 15th to the 18th century, this tool was used often glowing hot to tear or crush the breast of women convicted of witchcraft or having an abortion. Oh my gosh. Forceps, pliers, and peppers are here. So witchcraft or abortion. They would take these, look. You, you imagine they put them in those? Put that on her chest? Crush it down? They thought you were a witch or have an abortion. Wow. Tortured with that. Look at that machine. I don't know if I can show that picture. We're gonna, I don't think I show that picture, guys. You can show it over here. I can show it on this side? Okay. Here. Look at this machine. They would torture women. So this was used for thousands of years to immobilize and hold the rebels, deserters, and persons subject to public censure, usually lower class. They saw widespread use in the Middle Ages during the colonization of America. In 2012 in South Africa, a woman was kept in stocks for 72 hours for wow. committing adultery. 72 so hours. 72 hours in that. That wasn't for cutting down trees. This was a real famous one right here. I know that one was. That one was used a lot. I read a lot of stuff. That one was used a lot. It was called the heels. Look, they put weights on the feet. And then lots of times things will be on this wood horse that the person has to sit on. So you can use your imagination. And the same thing with this one. They'd be sat there with weights on their feet. They would do an application of severe burns with boiling water. Wow. Or oil was practiced in the medieval to make a person to plead guilty to various offenses. According to the unconfirmed report, the Asian Secret Service has still practiced the scolding of heroes. Wow. They obviously lock you down and do it. There's a picture of one. It's kind of a, you can imagine what they do. They put weights on you and you sit on this. And I was told they just leave you there for quite a while and that uh, if you didn't die from it, you'd die from infection. Now see, this says she confessed after three hours of sitting on here. However, they let her stay for another five. She was on there for eight hours. Wow. It's a big room. Oh, you know, I've seen these in movies. I've never seen one in real life. This one moves, I think. Yeah, it does. Yeah, this one's supposed to move. Does it say pull? Don't pull. It says pull, doesn't it? Yeah. It says pull. Yeah, I thought it was. It says. Do you know how this worked, Bree? Yeah. How'd it work? Okay. But a lot of them would be on a device up here that would drop after every click, it would drop like a half inch. So they'd put you on there and start it up until you can, when you talk, they'll stop it. And every stroke would go down a half inch. And here's an example of burning in steak. Wow. It's high you burn you. It was common in ancient times in different parts of the world. The main victims of this fire became prisoners of war, their apostates, sorcerers, and in Europe, the order de fe appeared with the beginning of the Inquisition in the 8th century. Can you guys handle this? It's getting a little bit creepy, a little medieval in here. Yeah. 
I might have to like not monetize this video and make it like adult rated because uh, I'm not sure. This is pretty spooky stuff. I hope you guys can handle it. I hope you guys are okay with this. If you are, let's keep going. We'll finish this tour. If you're spooked out a little bit, I understand if you have to bail. Let's, let's keep looking though because it's pretty crazy stuff. Okay. What the heck? Oh, uh, they ripped the tongue out. So they ripped the people's tongue out. Now this was a water cure, the funnel. And this was a um, documented case. This was torture related to the 15th century water torture applied to heterics in medieval Europe. To prisoners of war during the time of the Spanish-American War in 1898. Filipino-American War, 1899 to 1902, as well as the Japanese troops during World War II. Nowadays, this torture is used by the special services in some countries. So this is still active. This wow. is still going on. Mm -hmm. Rat torture. Know all about this one. Those of you who don't know what rat torture is, they take these rats that are almost starving, and they put them in this cage and strap it down to his chest. So if they're rat starving and wants to get out, they gotta eat through you. This is some really cool like rocking. Yeah, this is witch bathing. <laughs> so if they thought that you were a witch or if you were doing witchcraft, you were suspected of doing that, the man was lowered into the water. If he was drowning, he was cosmetically justified. If not, he was executed for communication with the devil. Wow. So you're dead. If you get put on that, you're dying either way. Not this way. You would be killed yeah. in another way. I've Judas had that happen. Cradle. This is called Judas Cradle. Yeah, it's a real f popular one too. A real famous one. It was used for the torture of your second and potential witches for several centuries. So That's cool. Kind of That's what happens when you tell lies. Spreading gossip. Can you imagine saying something that was true? Then a higher up person said, no, it's a lie, so this happens to you. Stick through the heart. Wow. That would happen if you told a joke about government officials or if you were gossiping or slander. Yep. Can't talk about the government. boxes that would really stink Gently, it's so hard to pull. Here's the female. Can you do it? I can do it, but I'm scared to do it. Oh, I'm gonna check that out. There you go. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it's just for being whipped. Okay. Wow. Look at that one. This is for if you were naughty. Yeah. They didn't want you to be raped or committing adultery, so that's a chastity belt. Seen these in lots of movies.
they thought the Walmarts, you know what, with this, the boobies. They take them off? Yeah, it's from castrating. So it's that. Oh my gosh. Same thing, get the process. We can look at it later and go over it. It's where it's used to tear natural cavities out of the body. Wow. So that that was the medieval torture museum. I hope you guys liked it. Stuck around. It's a little bit crazy, but thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. More videos to come. I'll see you guys in the next adventure.